everyone. Welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. A lot of people have asked me, how do you do the drizzle swipe rec spin? Now this is a technique I've learned by watching um, Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller on YouTube. Um, lots of other people use this technique also, but I believe that she was the one that sort of first started to put it up on YouTube. Um, so I'd just like to show you how easy this is and Hopefully, um, those of you who are beginners will give this a go. Um, there's nothing really complicated about it, and it's a good one to practice doing your swipes to get cells. So, um, without further ado, I shall just lay down my base paint. Um, also, a lot of the paints I've used today, I've mixed custom colours um, by mixing various paints. So, I will put um, how I've made those colours in the description box below. Um, I want to make this a fairly quick video, so I won't go into the details of how I mixed all the colours. Um, so, it will be in the description box. Okay, so my base is just the Araldo di Puolo Black, and I've mixed it with Australian Flow Troll. And it's basically a mound on a mound I've got here today. So I'm just going to spread that out across my tile. Now this is just a four inch tile or 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. And they are fabulous for practicing this technique because you don't have to get your um, swipe to swipe too far, obviously just the four inches or the 10 centimeters. So if you are uh, having trouble with doing swipes, um, I do suggest you practice with your tiles and you can make some beautiful coasters which is what I'm doing here today actually for a friend of a friend of mine um, who wanted some coasters made in a certain colour. So that's my base laid down. Now I'm just going to get each of the colours and I'm literally just going to drizzle them all over. Now you can do um, various patterns if you like. You can do like an ocean um, scene and just do blue at the top and then the beigey colours at the bottom. Or in the case of what I'm doing today, I'm just mixing all the colours across um, to get a beautiful effect, hopefully. So I'm just going to lay this colour down. This was um, Araldo Waikiki. Sorry, no, it wasn't. It's uh, Araldo Metallic Mint, and I've mixed another colour in with it. Um, as I say, I'll put it in the description box. So I'm just basically going to drizzle this across the tile in more or less a chevron-y sort of pattern. It doesn't have to be a chevron pattern. You can just drizzle it randomly. And the next colour I'm laying down is the Araldo Cool Blue, which I have mixed with um, some of the Pouring Masters special effects to get a nice colour shift effect with that one. I do love my um, metallics and colour shift paints. Probably overuse them a bit, but can you really ever overuse them? Probably not. And the next one is the Araldo Ultraviolet, again mixed with a colour shift. So I'm just basically drizzling them all over, making sure I get the paint over the edges as well. And the next one is the Araldo Waikiki, similar to the other one, but this one doesn't have the, um, it has a little bit of the colour shift in it, but because it was an opaque paint, it, the colour shift doesn't show up in it. So if you're going to add in any colour shift um, colours into your paints, they really need to be a semi-transparent or a transparent, otherwise the colour shift just um, won't show through. And this one is the Araldo Purple. Again, I've mixed that with a colour shift from Pouring Masters and it's absolutely beautiful. I hope you can see that on there. I think you can. Lovely. So I'm just going to spread that across as well. And then I'm just going to put in some of my Montmartre Pouring Paint Gold. I 
I've actually mixed this fairly thickly. Um, it's usually quite thin, so I've put a little bit of the Taubman's in it just to thicken it up a tiny bit. So I won't put too much of that. It's a little bit does go a long way. So I'm just adding a little bit of the macaw, which is a this little piggy interference colour. I think it looks nice when you do a drizzle swipe if you've got an interference colour in there as well. Just put a little bit of that. And now I'm just going to burst the bubbles. So to do the swipe, you can either use a playing card, um, which I'll show you, which are cheap to buy and you can just use them again and again and until they um, go a bit soft. Or you can use a little offset spatula like this little one here that I got from Fluid Art Co, um, which is quite good. You've just got to be able to hold it lightly enough that you're not going to drag the paint off. And that's the uh, most important part of this technique is being able to touch the paint but without dragging the paint off too much. So the cell activator I'm using today is the Amsterdam Oxide Black, which I've mixed with Australian Flow Troll approximately one part paint to four parts flow troll. So just spread that on there like that. And now just very lightly swipe. And straight away you can see those cells coming up. Beautiful. And then just make sure you wipe that off and then just load up again. Just spreading it thinly on there. You don't need it to be too thick. And then just same thing again. And sometimes you'll miss a little bit, but I don't worry about that too much because I think that that adds to the pattern. If you get a bit that's been missed, I like that. Or if you don't like it, you can just go back with a little bit um, on the playing card and just um, swipe over that again. But I'm actually going to leave that one today. So I'm just going to uh, use my heat bossing tool just to bring up any more cells or burst any bubbles. The colours in that are beautiful. It's hard for you to see there, but when I come down for a close-up, you'll see it. Um, actually, I've just realised I haven't turned my overhead lights off. And you might have a bit too much glare there. Hopefully that's a bit better. And I'll bring you down for a close-up at the end where you can see the um, beautiful colour shift that's in there. So now to do the wrecking, just a bamboo skewer. I'm just going to use the blunt end of it and you just literally draw a pattern through. So in this case I, I quite like to start sort of in the center because I love that teardrop effect that you get and I don't want it to spin off and disappear. So always make sure that you wipe the skewer off in between and just do another one over here. So you can put these wherever you like um, I would like to do one through here where that bit got missed and that'll just be a nice little pattern all of its own. I'm just bring that round. You can see there where it's just given that beautiful effect where I hadn't swiped through there. So I quite like that. And I might just do another one over here. Okay. So that's probably enough. So now I'm just going to spin that out. I'm not going to spin it a lot though. I just want to spin it just enough because personally I don't like it when the um, wrecking lines go all skew with. So I just like to spin it just enough to get a little bit of the paint off and to enlarge the cells a little bit. And then the other way. Okay, 
So there's a really pretty little tile and it was as easy as that. Um, so yeah, anything, you'll have a look, see if there's anything you want to change. Always making sure that your sides are completely covered. And when I put it up on a little cup to, um, to dry, I'll make sure that I've scraped underneath. Otherwise your pattern can continue to be drawn off. And when you go back later, there won't be much of it left. Um, but I really like that, very pretty. And um, yeah, just not liking that little bit there though. So if you see something that you don't like, like where I've swiped that and um, there's no cells here, you can just do another little wreck just through that one piece. Just to add a little bit of interest into it. You can even add a little bit of colour in there if you want to. And then that got rid of that little piece just like that. And I don't like that there either. So I'll just run a bit of colour through there. Yep, I think everything else is pretty much how I would like it to be. Maybe that there. Okay, I'll bring you down for a close-up. Here we are coming down for the close-up and I've got the flash on for you so that you can see all those shimmery from the silver, from the gold, I should say, from the macaw. And I've also got some of the, you can see in the center there, the um, color shift paints I used or the interference paints. So it's a very beautiful shimmery purple and blue and gold piece with the black as well. So that's it guys, it's as easy as that. And you can, you know, change it up with different colors and um, just doing your wrecking lines in a different way, however you want to do it. You can be as creative as you like. Hopefully you enjoyed that one today, everyone. Hopefully um, you'll have a go at doing that and let me know in the comments um, how you've gone. Okay, speak to you soon. Bye-bye.